Should I do better next time? 6-3 classic. Just want to be fast mid to long range. 6-3 classic. That's an interesting sense. That 3 sensitivity in 4x mode is showing. Nice. Alright, you have good crosshair placement. And just to start off. <clears throat> Yeah, nice. So you got good crosshair placement. Um, missed the COQ, which like it just is what it is. You hit the first. You hit the guy here on the left, I think. Oh, you didn't. Interesting. You preamped properly. Um, if you're on controller and you're using 3x or uh, not 3x, 3 is your ADS sense. Just don't even bother switching it to 4, bro, because like you're not gonna be able to. You're not gonna be able to control that recoil at range very well. I feel like and. Up close, it's gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna help you. So just try to keep this in 2x. Apart from that, I mean, like, it's it's a fine clip. You played your life well, you held an angle that supported your teammates, and, you know, you, you pretty much, your teammates baited for you, and you got to capitalize off of it. You also played cover here really well. You knew you got shot in the back, so you forced a 1v1 on the guy by walking down the stairs. <laughs> you have good, you have good hip fire for, um... For 6-3. Your hipfire being 6, your hipfire is actually pretty consistent. Boom! Is that a collat? Bam! Pow! A mild flex clip. I'd call that a flex clip. Did I play this 1v3 wrong, or did I play it the best I could? DPI 1200, sense 1.6. Should I change my sensor? Is it okay? Um, 1.6, so that's what? In terms of 800 DPI, it's not half, it's like what? That'd be like, that'd be like 800 DPI 2.2, something like that. 800 2.4. It's a little high, it's a little high, but we'll see if you can actually like use it. As long as, as long as you can comfortably track with it smoothly and your nerves don't throw you off when aiming with a high sense, then it's totally fine. But if you can like visibly see that you're struggling, because of your what I would believe to be your sensitivity, then that's when I'd recommend to change it. Let's say. Good calm by the teammate. So bring it on. So you're able to control it, but I can see your nerves. Like here, you can tell that like your adrenaline's going a little bit. I'd say maybe if you turn it down, turn it down just a little bit because your your tracking is good with it. I don't think the sense holds you back at all. But if you want to be a little bit more consistent, I'd, I'd say turn it down just a little. Alright, that was super messy. Alright. So, this play, you definitely rushed. You definitely rushed just because your seer got knocked, you had zone closing, so you're, you know, you're definitely just pressured. But you gotta think about, like, how you can actually play your life. I talked about this yesterday with a lot of clips, is that a lot of people don't value their lives in high pressure situations, and it ends up just doing more harm than it does good. So here you slid, you didn't really play cover properly at all for your cross, so you get punished by a guy swinging the right. And instead of like staying on height and trying to chow, I think because you were kind of panicking, you ended up just sliding off into him. And I mean, it worked because you one clipped the shit out of him, right? But you end up getting punished because of his teammate coming down from the high ground. But for all I know, maybe you could have died from getting shot in your back if you stayed on height. I don't really see him anywhere in this clip. Like, it looks like it's clear here. Personally, I would have wrapped left here and played this rock, <clears throat> and then looked down, or just, like, taken a wider left approach to this, so that you don't get fried from down here. Because you know where they are, because your teammate's shooting. So, the last thing you want to do is get fried on your cross by, like, an unfavorable angle. To me, this is unfavorable, because he's kind of got a heady. Not really a heady, but it's just, like, an awkward angle to get caught crossing from. 
But, I mean, you play it as best you can once you, like, have already made the mistakes. You, you get a knock, you one-flip the guy. But it just doesn't matter because you get punished for it. 400 DPI 2.0. Okay, so he's on my sense. 800 DPI 1.0 and uh, 1.3 for aim thingy. So your sense is, sense is higher when ADSing? Or is this the setting that makes it 1 to 1? Aim 1.3 is the setting that makes it 1 to 1 to your hip fire? Okay. Yeah, I, I don't use this personally. Uh, but I know a lot of people who do, so that's fine. If I see you pull out an R301 and you have light ammo, I want you to know that you're, you're a silly goose. Okay, you have seven bullets. You're not a silly goose. Okay. So your horizon ult wasn't bad. Uh, it got blocked off on the Newcastle wall. Just so you guys know, Newcastle wall, because of the horizon adjustments, Newcastle wall will completely block the pole of horizon. Keep that in mind if when you see Newcastle's gibbies, if you see anything like that, uh, it's going to disrupt the pole on your ult. So while your ult itself, the idea of, play, of like where you threw it wasn't bad, um, because of a Newcastle wall being there, it actually didn't do anything. Is it, it landed, look where it landed. It landed right here on the left or on the right side of the Newcastle wall. And there's they're too far around the box for it to actually do anything. Now if you came up this lift, look where Storm is, right? Storm is just behind this box. All three players are behind the box, you know this. So you just need to have better ult placement here. It looked like you, you saw the Newcastle next to the wall and you kind of tumbled on ulting him instead of like using the context clues to know where his teammates are and catch them with the ult back here. If you got your ult back here and it pulled them out into Storm, it would have been a great ult. But I do see they are playing Watson and maybe they had a maybe they had a gen and you were worried about that, so that's valid. But I don't see a gen here. Your crosshair placement's really not that bad. Yeah, I think it's fine. Um, I don't see what I could find wrong with your tracking. Honestly, I think your sensitivity is okay. I think you just need to do a little bit of aim training. Um, because it looks like you rely on your strafe a little too much to aim. Like here, just looking at this, right? When you actually do beam the Newcastle. It seems like you don't really move your, you don't actually move your mouse very much. You just kind of strafe into it. I think you're over reliant on your strafe. I think that's uh, I think that's the problem. Yeah, I'd recommend just doing some some tracking scenarios uh, on like Kovacs or Aim Labs or something if you want to improve your aim and go from there. Because your your aim itself, I don't think it's got a smoothness problem or anything like that. I just think you don't actually move your mouse enough. Like in terms of, like trying to stay on target with your mouse, it just seems like you stay on target more. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You just want to try to do try to do both, right? You don't want to like overly rely on one or the other. Okay, so 